Hello. I am going to take you up in another part of the backyard and do a quick video. There I went baby boy. He has to come help me do whatever I'm doing outside. And I'll show you what's coming up on this other side of the garage behind, uh, well actually behind the garage. Daffodils coming up there. That little stick there, that's a crepe myrtle. The grasses are still looking good through the winter. Not a lot coming up here. This has mostly perennials in this bed and a lot of uh, lilies. And of course the Japanese maples. And the PJM rhododendron. Lots more of the uh, periwinkle. And there's hostas in this giant pot. More of the grasses, and I can see some of the lilies starting to come up, too. There's a clematis on that. It hadn't emerged yet. These red leaf things here, that is uh, Missouri Sundrops. Baby boy's over here rubbing my legs while I'm showing you. Another PJM rhododendron right here. This is uh, epimedium. This is its winter color. Uh, after these leaves uh, kind of die back, I'll trim all that off, and it'll be a million little yellow flowers. Then the new leaves will be uh, a pretty green all summer long. This is really uh, another great plant. And it's taken this years to get uh, this big of a clump, but I really love it. And there's another hellebores. Baby boy says, what are you looking at up here? It's kind of a mess up here still. There's another hellebores over there. There's a lot of uh, perennials in this bed too, and they haven't uh, come up yet. There's the kitty cat again. He loves being in the videos. The lilies and a lot of the ferns and things that are in this bed haven't come up yet either. Another PJM rhododendron. And that's the sweet autumn clematis on the top of that arbor. Apirus. I love the shape of their leaves and then their little flowers are coming out. Now there is one thing over here that is starting to bloom and that's the lungwort. It's going to be loaded with blooms and a cold doesn't seem to... <laughs> He's loving my phone and moving it while I'm trying to film this. But the flowers will be beautiful and it'll be covered. I'll show you again later when they um, all come out. That's a hydrangea there. Too early for that. Hydrangea right there. It did really well. Now I can see the nodes coming out on it. I hope they don't get burnt. This is a uh, clematis in this pot. This was a start a baby from another plant and we just uh, dug it up and put it in this pot and it's really grown and it's actually putting out its leaves. Periwinkle blooming. Another big pyrus. This is one of those little full moon, what he's loving on is a full moon Japanese maple and when it gets ready to put the leaves out they come out almost like a pod. And out here in this bed, the sun just came out really bright, uh, is a lot more hellebores. And every single one of these are ones we transplanted from the front. But they're just uh, really doing well. And there's one right there. And then there's a white one over there.
this is an azalea right here this poor little Japanese maple, you can see the big, biggest limb on it got broke during a windstorm. A big tree limb fell on it. He's going to play. It's a cool afternoon, but the sun is out, and all the snow and bad weather missed us last night. So for that, I was very grateful. All right, well, I hope you have a great afternoon, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your time. Till the next time, bye.